It's less than a mile away from Capitol Square, but the T. Potterfield Bridge can feel a million miles removed from Virginia politics. I do keep track of it. I think it's important. We still met several people who continue to follow the scandals that have rocked the state capitol this year. People have been talking about for months since the first scandal came out, and you know, we just like to know. See you guys. The latest developments involve Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. Wednesday, his lawyer sent letters to prosecutors in North Carolina and Massachusetts asking them to quote expedite investigations into sexual assault allegations brought by Dr. Vanessa Tyson and Meredith Watson. I kind of have a problem with something someone bringing something up about me that took place in my past long time ago. They can take women some time to feel comfortable to, to feel like they can speak for themselves and report maybe what's happened. Dr. Tyson's lawyers call the letters a political stunt that show a lack of respect towards survivors of sexual assault. In the letters, Fairfax's team accuses Watson of trying to blackmail him into resigning. Watson's attorneys responding, quote, Fairfax's changing story speaks for itself. First, the rapes didn't happen, then the sex was consensual. His new claim, never before made, that Miss Watson engaged in the crime of blackmail is defamatory. I'm glad it's coming out. The voters we spoke to hope Virginia can find a way to move forward following all the controversy. We're going to see, are you going to be our, the best person to represent Virginia? We got to start somewhere to be able to move forward as a whole of people. Both Watson and Dr. Tyson renewed their calls for a public hearing here at the General Assembly. A source tells me that that is very likely to be a topic of conversation during next month's uh, special session here, given these latest developments. Working for you at uh, Capitol Square, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News. Thank